Destroy players using an anti air vehicle. Pfft. Unexpected threat, my ass. I can barely see that guy. <laughs> yeah, that was terrifying. Oh my goodness! <laughs> It is not a good spot to hit it. It is not at this range. Of all the updates with battle rating changes, of all the battle rating changes that happened so far, Gaijin. Why? Why? Why on God's green earth and everything that is holy? Is this thing still at 2.7? Just why? Hey guys, it's Jim here. Now welcome back to War Thunder. And in today's video, we are playing a tank destroyer, I mean uh, anti-air vehicle that is basically everybody's bread and butter whenever there's a new grind event or a new battle pass season. This is the L62 NT2. I'm pretty sure the NT actually means something but I'm not going to bother looking it up. Anyway, why is this thing everybody's bread and butter? Well, a little bit of background involving grind events. Every time there's a grind event or a battle pass season, some of the minimum requirements includes a rank 3 vehicle. But you may have already guessed, as much as everybody has to play the rank 3 vehicles, a lot of people actually like to play a rank 3 vehicle with the lowest battle rating possible. And one of the biggest living proof of this is the M24 Chaffee in the American Tech 3. It used to be rank 3, battle rating 3.3. Until several years ago, they decided to bump that thing down to rank 2, but bump its battle rating up to 3.7 mainly because of how much people have been using it during these grind events. As well as making it rank 2 means that you can't use it in rank 3 grinds anymore. So of course, you may have guessed it by now, the L62 is not an exception to that, especially given that it's a rank 3 vehicle and battle rating 2.7. Yeah, so every time there was a new event or there's a new battle pass season, of course you guessed it, every time I was in the battle rating 2.7, 3.0, 3.3, I just see these guys everywhere. Or at least one team has like two or three of these guys running around. And some players may actually argue that, oh, it's a battle rating 2.7 mainly because it has no armor. Just shoot this thing and it'll die, right? Well, yes, you can make that argument. 12 millimeters right here, 13 millimeters right here, 13 millimeter sides, 12 millimeters rear, and even your turret. 10 millimeters here, 7 millimeters here, 10 millimeters here, 10 millimeters in the rear, as well as this thing being an open top vehicle, so high explosive of any kind can easily one shot this thing. And not to mention, in this very open turret, is 3 out of 4 crewmen right there. But then the real question is, when is the last time that has actually stopped someone? I mean, the EBR 1954 can attest to this. Now one thing that does not make this thing like an R3-T20, is the fact that you don't exactly have as good of a mobility as an R3. Your engine power, even when speeded, is only 144 horsepower. And you may be able to go out to 40 km an hour, like sure, this thing don't exactly have armor. But the thing is, um, if you go off-road or you go to one of those areas with a lot of bumps or hills like the Stalingrad map for example, then you will very quickly see that this thing really doesn't like to traverse very rough terrain. But that's not to say though, if you're driving in one of those urban areas and whatnot, you should be able to build up to 40 km an hour pretty easily, which is about the same as a medium tank. So maybe don't treat this thing like a Natri T20 due to the lack of armor, maybe treat this thing a little bit more like a medium tank. And then of course the pride and joy of this thing being an anti-air vehicle, this is using the 44mm Vulcan M36 cannon. And of course as you can probably see the reloading rate on this thing, this is one of those auto cannons that basically fires forever. As the 40mm goes, these are the rounds that we will be using, the semi armor piercing high explosive incendiary shells in this belt, that you will be firing 3 of them before you fire a high explosive that doesn't really penetrate too well, and the semi armor piercing high explosive shell, can pen up to 68mm of armor. Doesn't really seem like it's a lot, but keep in mind that one, you're a better rating 2.7, if you get down tiered, yeah, you are going to demolish everything you look at. And secondly, even if you get up tiered, Germans, Panzer Force, T-34s, you get down to that size, you should be able to penetrate them. And not to mention this semi-armor piercing shell, kinda behaves a little bit more like high explosive. You know, think of it as high explosive anti-tank shell, but with a better post-penetration damage. 
And uh, it is armor piercing, high explosive, but I can't really show you the explosive filler here. So I looked it up on the War Thunder wiki, and it says thirty eight grams. In in my personal experience, I say the hell it is thirty eight grams, man. Like it feels more like it's eighty. <laughs> but anyway, if you don't like the idea of having less penetration, sixty eight millimeters, like sure, if you come across a KV one, you're definitely not penetrating that. However, if you really don't mind, you can always stick to the default belt that uses armor piercing cap shell that pans out to 79mm of armor. Just a fair bit of warning though, it doesn't have explosive filler. And now the other aspects of the gun, you can carry up to 144 rounds of ammunition, I just say bring everything because 144 rounds is really not a lot for an anti-air vehicle, especially if you're trying to shoot down an enemy plane or if you're doing a two belt setup, you know. Like, instead of me just running only the semi armor piercing high explosive shells, you also carry some of the default rounds as well, maybe like 3 belts or so, in case you A, need to shoot down a plane, or B, need to take out something that the semi armor piercing high explosive shell couldn't penetrate. But yeah, I say just bring all. As well as not to mention, if you bring more or half of the ammunition or whatever, they're all gonna be down here, so not like it's gonna make a real difference anyway. And then of course reloading rate on this thing is 0 0.6 seconds. Again, this is one of those auto cannons that are firing forever, so unless of course again your loader gets knocked out. Gun depression is only at 5 degrees. But then again, this thing is an anti air vehicle, so what else is new? Now targeting speed is something you need to keep in mind, and it's more or less the reason why people prefer to use this thing to shoot at tanks. Targeting speed, 16 degrees to 18 degrees a second is actually kinda slow for an anti air vehicle. The World of Wind, for example, you have targeting speed of 55 degrees a second. Or the US counterpart to the L62 is the M42. As you can see, 25 degrees a second. A little bit lacking, but it's not too terrible. It's really not everyone's cup of tea when it comes to shooting down planes with this thing. But otherwise, if you play this thing like a medium tank, 16 degrees a second, that's really not too bad. And finally, no gun stabilizer, but the gun doesn't really bounce too much, so it's not a big deal. And so there you have it. This is the L62 NT, and... <sighs> Again, why is this thing at 2.7? It really baffles me. But anyway, that's all I gotta say about the L62 NT. Now let's take this thing out in the battle and um, let's do so well with this thing that we bring this thing up to 3.3 or 3.7, where it fucking belongs. I'm so sorry, buddy. <laughs> that is not somebody I want to see. I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> knock knock, little steward. It's the IKEA furniture inspector. Sherman.
Du kriegst den Hit. Du kriegst den Hit. My guy, you are looking that way! <laughs> Guys, not moving anywhere closer. Let me deal with this guy. Ah, uh, Marco, they're they're both Valentines. There it is. Just gotta sneak that round into the turret. Are you are, are you really like, are you really that greedy? <laughs> Save you! What are you doing, bro? Yeah. Well, I'm leaving because artillery is dropping. See ya. No 
pressure teammate, but I trust you. You know, no pressure. But I trust you. That can't be the only guy there, can it? I'm so sorry, little one. <laughs> God damn it, I got everybody except the gunner. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> I need to remember what this is from really. It's so bad. I'm so sorry, my dude. <laughs> you deserve better.
Ở đây có luôn này Ở đây có luôn này Ở đây có luôn How did you not see me, my dude? I'm not exactly quiet or stealthy. This board works. Don't please, don't don't please. Thank you. Screaming eagle. Yeah, I should probably get away from this one, never mind. <laughs> 